The Importance of Gratitude Introduction Dear friends in Christ, welcome to this uplifting devotion on the importance of gratitude. In our fast-paced world, it's easy to overlook the blessings that surround us each day. We often find ourselves focusing on what we lack rather than appreciating what we have. Today, let's explore how cultivating a thankful heart can transform our lives and deepen our relationship with God. As we journey through Scripture, we'll discover the power of gratitude and how it can bring joy, peace, and abundant blessings into our lives. 1. The Biblical Foundation of Gratitude Gratitude is a central theme throughout the Bible. The psalmist encourages us in Psalm 100. 4. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. KJV This verse reminds us that gratitude is our gateway to God's presence. When we approach him with thankfulness, we open our hearts to experience his love and grace more fully. Gratitude is not just an emotion, it's a choice we make to acknowledge God's goodness in our lives. In the New Testament, the Apostle Paul emphasizes the importance of gratitude in 1 Thessalonians 5.18, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. KJV This powerful verse teaches us that gratitude isn't just for the good times. It's a practice we should cultivate in all circumstances. By giving thanks in everything, we align ourselves with God's will and demonstrate our trust in His sovereignty. 2. The Power of a Grateful Heart When we choose to be grateful, we're aligning our hearts with God's will. Gratitude has the power to transform our perspective. It helps us focus on the blessings in our lives rather than the challenges. By recognizing the good, we shift our mindset from scarcity to abundance, increase our joy. As we count our blessings, we'll find more reasons to rejoice. Gratitude fills our hearts with happiness and contentment, strengthen our faith, Recognizing God's goodness in our lives builds trust in His faithfulness. We become more confident in His plans and promises, improve our relationships. Expressing thankfulness to others fosters love and appreciation. It strengthens bonds and promotes a spirit of unity. 3. Cultivating Gratitude in Daily Life You might wonder, how can I cultivate gratitude in my daily life? Here are some practical steps you can take. A. Start a gratitude journal. Each day, Write down three things you're thankful for. This simple practice can shift your focus to the positive aspects of your life. Over time, you'll begin to notice and appreciate the small blessings that often go unnoticed. Pray with thanksgiving. Begin your prayers by expressing gratitude to God, as Philippians 4, 6 instructs, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. KJV by starting our prayers with thanks, we acknowledge God's past faithfulness and express trust for the future. C. Express appreciation to others. Make it a habit to thank people for their kindness, no matter how small. This not only blesses them but also cultivates gratitude in your own heart. A simple thank you can brighten someone's day and strengthen relationships. D. Reflect on God's goodness. Take time to meditate on God's blessings in your life. As Psalm 103, 2 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. KJV, reminding ourselves of God's goodness keeps our hearts grateful and our spirits uplifted. 4. Overcoming obstacles to gratitude. Sometimes life's challenges make it difficult to maintain a grateful heart. You might face trials, disappointments, or losses that threaten to overshadow your blessings. In these moments, remember the words of the prophet in Habakkuk 3.17, 18. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vines. The labor of the olive shall fail, yet I will rejoice in the Lord, I will joy in the God of my salvation. KJV This powerful passage reminds us that our gratitude isn't dependent on our circumstances, but on the unchanging nature of our God. Even in difficulties, we can choose to be thankful for His presence, love, and the hope we have in Christ. 5. The Transformative Power of Gratitude As you cultivate a habit of gratitude, you'll begin to see remarkable changes in your life. Increased Contentment Gratitude helps you appreciate what you have rather than yearning for more. It brings a sense of satisfaction and peace, reducing feelings of envy or dissatisfaction. Greater Resilience A thankful heart equips you to face challenges with a positive outlook. Gratitude fosters optimism, which can improve your ability to cope with adversity. Deeper Worship Gratitude naturally leads to praise, enriching your worship experience. When we're thankful, 
our worship becomes more heartfelt and sincere. Improved mental health practice in gratitude can reduce stress and increase happiness. Studies have shown that grateful individuals tend to have better emotional well-being. 6. Gratitude in Action – Biblical Examples The Bible is filled with examples of gratitude in action. Let's look at a few. A. David Throughout the Psalms, David expresses his gratitude to God, even in times of trouble. In Psalm 34, 1, he declares, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. KJV David's unwavering gratitude, despite his circumstances, is a powerful example for us. Jesus, our Savior, modeled gratitude throughout his earthly ministry. Before feeding the 5,000, John 6, 11 tells us, And Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples. KJV Even Jesus, the Son of God, paused to give thanks, showing us the importance of gratitude. Paul, even while imprisoned, Paul maintained an attitude of gratitude. In Philippians 1, 3, he writes, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you. KJV Paul's thankfulness, despite his hardships, demonstrates the strength that comes from a grateful heart. 7. Gratitude in Difficult Times it's easy to be grateful when life is good, but what about during difficult times? The Bible doesn't shy away from the reality of suffering. In James 1, 2, 4, we're instructed, My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. KJV In trials we can still find reasons to be grateful, perhaps through the support of friends, lessons learned, or inner strength discovered. Gratitude during tough times leads to growth and maturity in our faith. 8. The Ultimate Example of Gratitude As we reflect on gratitude, we cannot overlook Jesus Christ's ultimate example. During the Last Supper, knowing the suffering ahead, Jesus gave thanks. In Matthew 26, 27, 28, we read, And he took the cup, and gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. KJV Jesus' gratitude, even in facing the cross, teaches us that we can find reasons to be thankful in all circumstances. 9. The Eternal Perspective of Gratitude Our gratitude is rooted in the eternal promises of God. While we may face challenges in this life, we can be thankful for the hope we have in Christ. 2 Corinthians 4.16 18 reminds us, For which cause we faint not, for our light affliction worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. KJV. Gratitude reflects our faith in God's goodness and His eternal plan for us. 10. A Challenge to Gratitude As we conclude, I challenge you to make gratitude a daily practice. Start each day by thanking God for three specific blessings. Look for opportunities to express appreciation to others. End your day by reflecting on moments of grace. Remember Colossians 3.15 And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, and be ye thankful. KJV let gratitude rule in your heart and watch how it transforms your life, relationships, and walk with God. Conclusion In closing, dear friends, let's embrace the importance of gratitude in our lives. It's a choice we make, a practice we cultivate, and a reflection of our faith. As we give thanks in all circumstances, we align ourselves with God's will, experience His peace, and strengthen our relationships. Let's remember the words of Psalm 107. 1. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endureth forever. KJV May our lives be marked by gratitude, and may we continually seek to express our thankfulness to God and to one another. Closing Prayer Let's close with a prayer of thanksgiving. Heavenly Father, we come before You with hearts full of gratitude. Thank You for Your unfailing love, endless mercy, and abundant grace. We are grateful for the gift of life, the blessings of family and friends, and the promise of eternal life through your Son, Jesus Christ. Help us cultivate thankful hearts, see your goodness in all circumstances, and express our gratitude in word and deed. May our lives be a testament to your faithfulness. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all as you go forth with hearts full of gratitude. Remember, a thankful heart is a happy heart.